Michigan Constitutional Crusader. We're out here at the Dearborn Heights City Hall. Out here with Spanky Pants. Last time we were here, they had the building locked down and we couldn't get in. And they freaked out that we came to the outside. Right. So we'll see how they act now that we can come in the inside. They're rather festive here. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. Stash on that pillar. Can you believe the marriage actually is? Really? Yeah. Oh, look at the data right there. Oh, Check return. Oh, man, I could zoom in on that, and that would be a bad thing. Animal control. Well, that tall guy with the beanie said, Oh, these people are back. Yeah. She's hiding from the camera. Look. She's hiding from the camera. Isn't that funny? Hmm. She's hiding from the camera. Uh, oh, yeah. She's got her gloved hand yeah. over her face. Uh -huh. That's the guy right there that was saying, all oh, those people are back. That dude with the beanie right there. Oh, the dude with the beanie said, mm -hmm. all those people? Oh, uh, okay. He was here last time. Yeah, we're here to see uh, those people. Yeah, right. All of those people. All of those people. You. And there's all their old mayors. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, their laptop's still in there. Yeah, there's the voting machines. Hmm, what do they say? Human Resources Department. Okay. Cool. Yeah. How's it going, Adam? How's it going?
back door to the assessor's office open. <laughs> really? Yeah, right there. Back door to the assessor's office. Pension office. Yeah, pension office. Mm, it's closed. It's closed. How's it going? Who are you? I'm me. You can, you can leave. Okay. All right, go ahead. I will. No, I mean now you need to leave. No, I don't need to leave right now. No, I, no, I don't. I'm not in there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I didn't cross the threshold. Okay, I don't either then. I guess they shouldn't prop the doors open if they don't want people to see. Hmm. Is there a private office? No, it's not a private office. Uh, this is it's a public uh, office. This is a, a work area, sir. Oh, okay. And that's why I haven't crossed the threshold. This isn't for the public area? Yeah, that's why I haven't gone in there. Yeah, the hallway down there at the other end was the, the beginning of that, sir. The beginning of what? The, the employees only area. Uh, no. Yes, yes, sir. No, there's no sign. What's going on? What is it? What are you recording something here now? Yeah. What's going on? So recording everything that? I see. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, this is our work area, so we just okay. want to make sure that... Yeah, I won't step in there. That's fine. Yep. No problem. You know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. No problem. But uh, like I said, if you have, if you want anything to do with the assessing, then we can work with you on the outside of the glass. Thing. Right on. Yeah, I'm, ju I'm just looking around. Okay, that's fine. I was checking out all the animal pictures on that door over there. <laughs> Is that everybody's pets? It could be, yeah. That's right on. That's something that they just... Uh, I've got way too many, pet, pet way friend. too many pets at home. Yeah, I got you. Eleven cats. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Okay, I hear you. And two dogs. Yeah. No problem. And two children that are more like animals than children. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah. What are those books? I can't tell. What are those big books over there? Those are our uh, tax rolls, the assessment rolls. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm having a conversation. Hold on. No. Sorry. No, she needs to get in and out. But uh, okay. those are uh, the way our assessment rolls used to be back years ago. Oh, so those are like really old the ones county, then? The county used to print those for us, and those are like old uh, assessment rolls, and uh, they still have... Uh, they still have them there. Right. They've been for all these years. And so uh, now we've kind of downsized them to right. a smaller, like eight and a half by 11 size. Like see those purple books, those are like downsized now from okay. those big books. They were much harder to handle. And I've been to, to some, I've been to some cities where the books are even bigger than those. Yeah. <laughs> and, that was, and then they're like this thick, you know? Well, those are. Yeah, there's things of different sizes. Yeah, yep. well, it depends on how the how big they are. If they right. if they put more in one binder or not, you know. But right. right now they're um, they're in. She the, went and told binders. me at the mayor's office mm -hmm. for being so, back here. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't step past the threshold. Yeah, I made sure me, I didn't. She told me he was in the office. I said no, he wasn't. Ridiculous. How are you doing, man? Yeah, we would never go in an office yeah. in, unless it's got a publicly lo public lobby. Yeah. And this ain't it, is it? No. No, it's, I mean, this isn't usually for the public. I mean, it's just usually for the employees. Oh, okay. You know, I didn't see any signage out there that yeah. said employees only. I can actually only. take you to the sign. Can you? Yeah, sure. Well, I'll take yeah, let me check it out, because I didn't see it when I come through. Hey, man, have a good day. Okay, take care. Yep.
Yeah, I looked to the left and to the door, and then I looked down there, too, and I didn't see anything. It said employees okay. only. And then Human Resource Department, that's for anybody. You know, people want to find a job or something? Yeah. Is that where you got to go to apply for a city job? So maybe you guys should put some signs up if you don't want people coming back there. Have a nice day, sir. Have a nice day. Or not. Smell you later. <laughs> oh, there's the sign. Oh, it says no smoking. <laughs> I mean, a cigarette. I mean, I'm smoking hot, but. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that lady was so mad. She oh, come out the door across. Was she pushing you back there? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Because that's when I come around, I seen her pushing you. I was like, well, I better go back there. Yeah, she came out and ran all the way to the mayor's office to try to tattletale on you. And the dog catcher told her it was okay. He remembers from the last time we was here. <laughs> yeah, she come. Yeah, she come out this door. Yeah, she came in that door and saw me and flipped out. Oh, yeah? She said, you can't be here. No, no, no. <laughs> Cool. Looks like they're doing some work. All right. I gotta find a little boy's room. Here I go. Oh, oh that's a shame. Somebody's application for MCO 2117N property exemption. Huh. Hey, you guys shouldn't leave that sitting there. I could record that. I didn't record it, but somebody could. Okay. Out to or just come up to the threshold. Okay. Right? So I had to check in on you to see what you were doing. Okay, yeah, I didn't come into your office, but you shouldn't have left that sitting there, period. Oh, it's your fault. It's your that. responsibility to take care of people's private information. Oh, it's your fault. Don't get mad at me because you made a mistake. Uh, I'm not mad at you, sir. I explained to you. And then you don't take things out of the oh. oh, I'm not taking anything out of proportion. I'm just saying try to make sure you don't do that again. So nobody collects somebody's private information by mistake. Or on purpose. You too. He said you was trying to come in the office. So that's not true. What's going on? I smell bacon, don't you? What are you guys doing? What's yeah, I smell people? bacon. Don't fucking yeah, touch me. What, Who the on? hell do you think you are? What are you, what are you guys doing? Touch people. Kiss my what ass. Do do? What are you guys doing? Here, just, I got this just, for you. Here you okay. go. Just talk to me for a minute. No, I ain't talking to you. All right, well. Kiss my ass. They don't want you guys Jackass. To... We're in a public building, dude. All right, that's fine. Okay. We're, We're in a public building. building. Public space. Tell, we tell that piece of shit right there to yeah, keep his hands off people. people no, 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 no. Right. We don't this want to we come to tell you. You're perfectly fine. Right. That's your first amendment right, correct? Right. Right. Exactly. We want to make sure you're okay. Okay, right? okay. well, tell him to keep his hands off people. He would walk by me. You don't get to touch people because you want to talk to them. You don't get to do that. Sorry. Sir, it's all right. If we don't want to talk to you, we can walk right on by. I wasn't stopping you from all You don't ever touch people you unless you're arresting them. Sir, he's just trying to talk to you. It's not a big deal. That's why I'm talking. It is a big deal. I understand. He That's needs why. to learn he has to keep listen, his hands off people. The deal is for him to unlawfully put his hands on somebody. He has no right to put his hands That's on. That's why I understand. That's why we're coming to talk. But you don't get to grab somebody and say, "Hey, I want to talk to you." You don't have probable cause of a crime, right? I just wanted to talk. You don't have probable cause of a crime. All we can is just say you're fine. You're good. That's all we're saying. You're good. Put the videotape and everything. Make sure you're good and do everything. You're oh yeah, we don't go where we're not allowed to. Right, right exactly. Just like that lady freaked out, and I'm like, I'm not in that room. I was outside the threshold of the room. That's what we come to talk to you, right? Right. As long as people are comfortable, right? Right. As long as you're not doing anything that you're not supposed to be doing, I'm filming what because you know, you know what you're supposed to film. Absolutely. Yeah. And you're perfectly able to come here. Who, who doesn't say you're trying to do a historical film here about the city or something like that? Right. I used to live hey, around here, so you know. For my partner, I think we're just trying to talk. To you. That That's came it. off the wrong yeah. way. I apologize. I just wanted to talk to you. That was it. Right. I wasn't trying to stop you from waving. I just wanted to talk right. to you. Well, just, just remember, you you can't put your hands on somebody unless you're arresting them or lawfully detaining them. It's not necessary. Whatever, I don't care. Well, when do you think you can put your hands on people?
Hey, you know, that's, that's we're not, not going to do this, okay? Why not? I'm over that. You guys, man. You're all right. But you were in the wrong, so when do you think <laughs> so it's okay to put your hands on people? You know, I mean, that goes both ways. Is there, Especially if we're being We're not doing that, okay? Like, Why won't you answer the question? Because you don't know the answer to it? Good. Uh, we're good. Yeah. Listen for this. Yeah. Lindman, and what's your badge number? 259. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yep. Yeah, sir. Just trying to make awesome contact man. with you. Right? You might have got a little yeah. overzealous, yeah, right? right? He didn't mean no harm. He just wanted to talk to you. Oh, I know he didn't mean any harm, yeah. but the, the point of the matter is he can't do that, yeah. you know. We understand that when we can detain and not detain, right? Right. So you, you're not at doing anything illegal, right? Yeah, we've been here before. Right. There's no crime foot. You have nothing that I have to stop and search you for. I see nothing on you that resembles a gun or drugs or anything like right. that. And there's no crime All I got is pepper spray. Yeah. <laughs> completely, until you use it. You know? Right. Well, then, then it's well as long as I use it for the right reason. Defense, right. right. Yes. It's pretty advanced camera setup. You like it? Yeah, you got a battery pack, flashlight. You got all of it. Absolutely. Self What's that? Self-balancing and everything. Yeah, no, not really here. Okay, well that's a yeah, that, that's a workout. Yeah, that's a workout to keep it up like this. You know, you might get <laughs> chest break right. next. You guys do uh, movies and stuff or anything yeah. like that with that stuff? See, he's got the gimbal yeah. where it keeps the camera so, still. Yeah, they never charge I don't want to do that because that sometimes our stuff gets broke. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, people, people go up, above and beyond, and it's all reactionary, right? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, what we try to do is just have a conversation, right? right? And most people understand your First Amendment right to protect just as our First Amendment right. No, most people don't understand, and that's the reason we do this. We're trying to get people to understand constitutional rights. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, those just like you say, the Fourth Amendment. As well. You're hand, seat, hand, right? yeah. so that's what we're going. That's, that's what we're here for. You can talk to everybody and do everything you need to do at the gas station. The marathon, it's within the bounds. And you guys, and that started because we I believe you guys definitely know. You know how far to go. Oh yeah. So. So as long as everybody it's, feels it's comfortable, and it's not, it's not well, it's not it's not even a comfort anymore. thing. Yeah. 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 But they can feel uncomfortable. Yeah. That's it's feeling. Absolutely. Absolutely. As long as we don't break a law, Absolutely. you yeah. know. And then if we were to linger in one spot too long, well, then that could be an issue too. Right. right. But we don't get to that point. We had, usually when we come up, talk to you, actually leave you guys, do your thing, and go. So, right. And that's what we're here for today. I mean. Well, yeah, we have to leave in what, 15 minutes? Yep. Yeah, 15 minutes exactly. There's no crime spin, so we don't have to collect any information. Right. right. So unless Go. Unless you want to will, willfully fly me, if you Hell don't. Hell no. I got you, I understand. <laughs> so we know. Right? That's why we asked. And what was your badge number name? Pointer. 255. 255. Thank you. I got a question for you. Have you ever seen a police department that has two police cars with the same squad number? So, I can't talk on that because I've just been in Deer one Heights, right? right? Every vehicle I know either has a sequential number, you know, like our vehicles all sequential. Right. And you know that. It goes one all the way Usually, up. Usually, yeah. but if you go out to Merle, yeah. they have two squad cars with the exact same squad number on them. Is it a big department? No. So, maybe that's why. Maybe they don't, do they just number it one and one? Or no, there's two? there's three digit numbers. Yeah. And they're both the same. Oh, well, maybe backup car or something like that. I don't know. Because we... We do have K9 units that are one car number, but we have to have backups in case you right. break down. So right. it's not the same yeah. exact car. No, I just have to take a But no, I've never heard of the same because you have to differentiate. Like right. In our reports, we put yeah, what just, car we're in and everything. Yeah. Like that. It's an old car or something. So, I don't know. It, I just found it rather odd that they had two cars. And both of those two cars with the same number are the ones that showed up. Yeah. It's like, what the hell? You feel like you're in the Matrix or something. <laughs> yeah, like that. Something. Yeah, man, I got double vision, man. A <laughs> small department, you just never know how they operate. And right. They just you yeah. save yeah. money, put the same number on wrong. a decal. Those yeah. decals are expensive, so. This is true. Yeah. But other than that, you guys are good to go. We just want to make sure you guys are good and let you know you're good. And if anybody has a question, you can come and talk to us and say, you're well and you're right to be here. Right on, man. All right, appreciate All right. you. Have a good night. And well, the cops showed up, and there were 10 Taylor PD there. Yeah. And we were parked on the public easement, right? <coughs> An approach to a vacant lot. Yeah. So we parked on the public easement. And then they, after they Easy. couldn't do anything to us for being there recording, they were like, all your cars are parked illegally. Yeah. Well, what are you talking about? There's no no parking signs there. Who owns this property? Do, do you have a contract with the person that owns the yeah. property to trespass us? No, you don't. What's wrong with you guys? And I checked and, the GIS, and we were on yeah, the public right of way. One of the guys with yeah. us was open carrying. <laughs> mm -hmm. He got in the car. They they kept telling us, get in your car and leave. Get in your car and leave. So we all got in the car. When we pulled out, they had an officer sitting up the road by the convenience store, by the liquor store, and we rolled past him. He pulled out, pulled up behind us, and pulled us over. And the first thing they did is they came up to the passenger rear door where the guy was carrying at, 
and demanded to see his CPL. Like you don't get to just pull somebody over and demand to see their CPL. You gotta have reason to think he does not have a CPL. And they pulled him over and he said, what'd you pull me over for? Would not tell us what they, and we told him this is an unlawful stop. He didn't commit a traffic offense. You have no right to pull him over. So we're gonna go through that with them. We're gonna sue him because it's unlawful, Taylor. Yeah, I mean, we had, what, 10 cops out there? Yeah. No, no idiot that doesn't have a carry, a uh, concealed carry yeah. permit would jump in a car with ten right. cops seeing right, him do it. Right, right. You know, yeah. especially in Michigan. You put them on TikTok. The videos YouTube. On TikTok? YouTube. YouTube. Okay, I, I might have seen a couple of your freaking media on TikTok. Here you go. I got something uh, for your a dashboard. Lot of share my videos on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I got you. instead of duck, duck, jeep, just pig, pig, cop. And then when somebody calls you a pig, you turn it out, squeak it at him, say, "No, this is the pig." Recording the Taylor cop and uh, it wasn't the Taylor cop. Uh, the Utica cop. Utica, Sergeant no, Morbido, Detective some, Sergeant. He was in plain clothes wearing no, no. There's a Utica. Taylor guy that uh, said something uh, when he was getting back into his car. He was at, someone's asking citizens asking some questions, and he said something smart. I'll be back and just got in his car and left. Mm. I don't know. There's because they, they, we've had inter, we've only had that really one interaction with Taylor. Yeah. Was at the River Rouge a plant, a okay. Ford plant at River Rouge. Yeah. Oh, that could have been the smart ass sergeant that, as he was pulling out, said something smart to me, it and I went been. off on him. Yeah, but Wolverine well, well, transparency. Well, he's been hitting. Uh, he's been hitting Taylor I think that hard. might be the one because they, they keep black. Oh, oh he lives in North track. Carolina. Oh, they checked his permit and let us go. That's Wolverine transparency. Oh yeah. He's calling them pirates. Yeah, he definitely did, or he wouldn't have gotten the car. No, he had a CPL, and that's why he jumped in the car because he was legal still to enforce the law. You know, and and legally they don't have any right to pull me over for that. Your lights on or your siren. Because they wanted to check your CPL. Right. So they violated rights, both his and mine, because they demanded ID from me and said they were going to arrest me if I didn't ID. And I committed no crimes or traffic offenses, so they had no legal right to get my ID. But I sure as hell didn't want to go to the Wayne County Jail. Right, and you got to have your lights and or sirens on, right? Go two or code three in order to break the law. I right. I don't mess with that sovereign citizen stuff because I don't know a lot about it. So, well, I mean, if they're doing the sovereign citizen, then they don't have a registration or license plates. And so, as far as that goes, federally, it's legal to travel without needing a driver's license because technically, driving is when you're operating your personal conveyance to make money. So, if you're a delivery driver, you have to have a driver's license. If you're just a private person you know traveling from point A to point B and you're not getting paid to do it, you don't need a driver's license. I don't know. What's that? Is that what it says federally and federal law? Well, I can record. I, I'm 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 not about to try to do that because I don't know enough about it. But I keep thinking, man, it'd be a hell of a lot cheaper not having to play for pay for plates or insurance or any of that. <laughs> but then I think you have to uh, have a bond just in case you do get in an accident. So I, I don't know. I'm sure a bond would be cheaper because I think you only pay that once. Yeah, you know, we we had that issue a couple years ago with open carry. Yep. guys walking up and down the road with they are and they're yeah, yeah, yeah. and it wasn't yeah. common then as yeah. common as it is now yeah. more and more people are doing it obviously it frees people out but they got to maybe we'll go to a constitutional carry yeah. here like indiana and ohio did yeah that's one really open for so yeah until you don't now you can carry open or concealed with yeah. constitutional carry you can have it in your vehicle and you don't have to separate your magazine from your weapon or none of that oh you don't want to be able to get to get a little iffy you know well like for, of course man i I, I, yeah. man, I would be sketchy if you know, i was in your guys shoe walking up to a vehicle and i don't know what's going on yeah, I, don't, right. I don't knock you guys for that at all most man. good citizens say hey i have my gun on me here's my seat that's what isn't that what you're supposed to do yep and okay. even if you are carrying even in a, yeah, under constitutional carry you're not are you required to tell them you're carrying I don't think you are. I don't think you are, but, it, but it's kind ask, of the right thing right, to do. I mean, I mean ask, if, you if, if I tell yeah. you no and you find out I'm lying, then I lie to the police, and that's a crime. Absolutely. Yeah. You can't sue, period. Come through, and 
They won't tell me anything. You see something like a little outprint of a gun on there, then you got right. reasons. Then you got probable yeah. cause. Yep. Absolutely. Plain view doctrine. Yes. Same thing we use. Well, that's only if you cars. ask them, they deny having one, right? We, we, we go to look well, well, it, for us because it's we'll go only open carry. Carry. Right. Right. If, right. If, if they don't, they don't say anything and you see an outline and everything like that, yes, there's a gun. You're saying no, then we're going to ask you about the for our safety. Right. And their safety as well. But then if it switches to constitutional carry, how would that work? I'd have to look that up because that's. I feel like that would be huge in police. How is that right. enforced? Like because that means the law, there's any problems with carry. Right? Everybody, right? Supposed Everybody. Enforcing the law. even people that can't get your fault. Right? Yeah. Like, you can get a gun fault. anywhere on the street it's nowadays. It's fault. Yeah. yeah. And or the but in the yeah. in the the scope of what's going on, you'd be pulling, pulling them over, and then you'd be able to run their name. Yes. So then, if they did have a firearm, and you you were able to see it, yeah. So we actually just was there not long ago. Usually, yeah. run something. You have to run the CPL or the gun to make sure it's registered to them. And if they don't, if we just run them, it's not going to pop. They just have CPL So we have to run the CPL number, check that it's valid, and even on the gun. So in the constitutional carry county of sketchy, that means that any old Tom, Dick, or Harry can just carry a gun, you know, regardless, because then I can't enforce the terrorist out of risk and everything like that. Right. But wouldn't it show whether or not a person is a felon when you run them in your system? It does show Jabber and with us, you know, which I appreciate. I love you know that you see all these guys in the rest of Arrested, <laughs> fell in the guns, everything. Yep. And that's where it gets in the gray area that would sketch me out of constitutional That's a handsome fella right there. That's a handsome guy right there. What are we going to do, you know? <laughs> like, then our hands are tied for safety, safety reasons. Right. I had one guy come up to my camera one I'm time. all for it. We sit right in the car and I was right. Yeah, I know we were talking to some cops out in Indiana, and, and it was just before that yeah. uh, went into effect. Yeah. And they're like, we're all for it. So I wonder how they police it. That would be interesting to see how they police it. Call down. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if it, I don't know how the same rules that. for that, you know, yeah, because I know we, we, we went to open carry a decade ago or something like that. They start feeling certain that was pretty big you know, you know, right. for us, but you know, upset for the ego because you said something to them that didn't sit well. Yeah, so many guns moving in and out. I grew up in a time when sticks and stones might break your bones, but work won't hurt you. You got to adjust. Police and police adjust. Oh man, we're so sensitive. Oh, is that the mayor down there? Nowadays. That is. All right, on. Cool, man. What's mayor that? just popped out of his office. Oh, the mayor came out? Cool. Yeah. I heard him on the phone in there earlier. Yeah. This, this is like one of the first city halls we've been to that the mayor's actually been working. <laughs> actually been in the building or even working or doing anything. He's always here. That's right. cool. Yeah. That's good, though. That's good for the city. Leaves at like six. Well, that's oh, wow. good. He cares about his city. That's yeah, awesome. Most mayors, they come what city in for an hour or two a day. What's that? Oh, what city you go? Out that way? Out that way? Yeah. <laughs> all over. We've been all over we Michigan. All over Michigan, brother. And Michigan. Indiana and Ohio yeah. and yeah. Illinois. Yeah, we've been, uh, yeah, we've been to Indiana, Ohio, Illinois. We didn't have too much trouble in Illinois. We've been down like downtown, like Chicago. Oh, yeah. We were all over Chicago. Really? Yeah. Oh, uh, we had a couple you stupid you ones, but I mean, you know, for the most part, they did good. Is it, do you normally have trouble with small cities then they start or big cities? You know, that depends. I mean, Detroit was horrible when we first started doing this, but now they've learned they need to shut the hell up and and follow the rules. You know, so just because you don't want to be on camera, you can't be on call, not be on camera. Exactly. Honestly, we're on camera every day. Tell me, aggravator lights or reporting on camera? And they say, you know, the whole mob just just rushes. Exactly. Right. Stomping on their cameras, breaking their cameras, throwing their cameras across the lobby. I don't know if you guys do this job or hobby or what. Oh, it's a hobby. Just retirement, come around and just get a little. Oh, I'm on disability. Really yeah. right? What's that? Yeah, sure out. do. You're, you're yelling at him, calling fake news You'll see yourself news. on it. Yeah. Just look up Dearborn right? Heights. So you don't need to be attacking him. Yeah. You know what I mean? So hopefully, you know, I saved his at least a minimum of his camera equipment because they had already oh, yeah. destroyed yeah. CNN, Fox's camera equipment. Remember? Yeah, that was insane. That was insane. The stuff we see is crazy. Yeah. Been to DC yet yeah, we were there on January sixth. Really? Yeah. Oh, that was insane. Yeah, we don't admit at all that. Oh my that was crazy. It was yeah. crazy. I believe we it. was on the north side of the Capitol, I think. And reports were we, coming we were out carrying that they our shot press somebody passes. in the face yeah. with a shotgun. <laughs> and there was all kinds of reports coming out. The, the uh, you know, uh, obviously. Love that stash, man. Yeah. Uh, 
but there was, yeah, it was crazy. I couldn't believe this. Well, it, it was just insane, man. Wasn't it? So yeah. many people. I couldn't imagine. I couldn't ima <laughs> imagine trying that, try to. 500,000 people around and there the was, spot. There was a group of uh, Capitol yeah, Police yeah. that come out of one of the hidden doors. Yeah. And they were trying to walk around, and people were trying to bum rush them. It's like, geez, it would crazy. hate to be those guys. That, uh, <laughs> that Air Force girl, she got Ashley shot Babbitt. Killed. Yeah, she got shot and killed inside the. Yep. Yeah. yeah. What well, I, I didn't get the full break. Supposedly, it was Secret Service that did it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they, there's video on it where you can see the guy there with the pistol. Yep. You know what I mean? Didn't see the flash. Trying to grab for it or something. And it, I think I so, but nobody accident. grabbed for his weapon. Yeah, he was in a room. Yeah, on the other side yeah his of his weapon. Course. You can see it come out of a doorway like this. Yeah. Huh. That's so. Interesting. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that you know that's, uh, that's the first time we've ever had to deal with something like that. I mean, insurrection. We, we try to bring light. That was crazy. You know, light to the dark, and you know, the know, sad part is most of the people there yeah. were just there to have their voice heard. Yeah. But then there was a couple of small cells of people uh, that it's for you know crowd mentality. Oh yeah. Yep. They, their officers have done so much wrong that the DO and and uh, well, who was to go, the isn't it? Yep. We got story on Taylor, Michigan. And how the DOJ is investigating yeah. Taylor. Time to go. Time to go. Is it yep. closed? It's oh, closing yeah, time. Right, yeah, yeah. Y'all have, have a good one. one. Well, guys, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you. I'm going to go home now. <laughs> right? Get some dinner. Try and stay warm. Bye, everybody. Cool. Closing time. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now you see it, man. Dearborn Heights. You know, Mr. Officer Touchy Philly. Put his hands on him. Oh, yeah. Let's look at the cats. Uh, we can get to the other two before they get to them, though. Well, hopefully they close the last off like good ones off. Sure. Burr. That actually feels good. It was quite warm in there. Yeah, oh, that one's closed. That one's closed. Good job. Yeah. That one closed too? Uh, I don't know yet. Yep, it's closed. Good job, man. All right. Good job. You guys closed the laptops. Heck yeah, man. You'd be surprised how many officers violate that rule. Yeah, now we're on. <laughs> you know, you try to keep it down. You don't want anybody to see it. That's right. Exactly. Man. That's right. All right, All right guys, have a good one. Have a good one. Yeah, you're welcome. Wow, that was... That dude's awesome. That was awesome. That's a sergeant. A, a police supervisor saying thanks for everything you do? Yeah. Holy shit. Right. And once we check Little Pants over there, you know, he calmed down. Yeah. <laughs> I got to bleep out my F-bomb. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Yep, don't go to the car yet. And we just want them to think we're parked somewhere else. They're all leaving. Yeah, they're good. They're all taking off. Well, we don't want to give them a nugget if we right, ha don't right, have no. to. Right. They see what car we get in, they might zip around and run the plate for the hell of it to fuck with us. Right. <laughs> we don't want to give them nothing. Exactly. So. Two of them went that way and the other one went that way. <coughs> right on. <laughs> All right, we were out of here. <laughs>